So summer is coming and you want to get in shape, which means no more desserts, only veggies, right? Wrong! <laughs> These chocolates are made from wholesome ingredients enhanced with plant-based protein powder and incredibly delicious. They are a great source of energy and lately my favorite pre-workout snack. So let's just dive into the recipe. Let's make the filling first. Grab the food processor and add 4 tablespoons of natural peanut butter, 1 teaspoon of coconut oil, 2 tablespoons of peanuts, and 1 tablespoon of cacao nibs. Then blend for just one minute. We just want to combine all the ingredients well and blend the peanuts and nibs into smaller pieces. Then transfer the enhanced peanut butter to a small bowl and set aside. Without washing the food processor bowl, we move to making bars. Add one cup or 100 grams of rolled oats, 20 soft medjool dates that you previously pitted, 4 tablespoons of cacao powder, 1 scoop of plant-based protein powder, chocolate flavor, a good pinch of salt, and 3 tablespoons or 40 grams of coconut oil. And then blend these ingredients for a couple of minutes. At the end, you will end up with a dough-like consistency, which is very soft and easy to roll into a bowl or form the bar. Now that we made our bar mix and our delicious filling, we're moving to the fun part, which is making the bars. I have these cute silicone molds that I got on Amazon. However, if you don't have them, you can simply use the mix, make a bowl, make an indent in the bowl and fill it up with with the filling. I want to make a real protein bars and make sure that we uh, respect the shape. So let's do that now. You're going to take two thirds of the mix and fill the bottoms of rectangular molds. I usually take a small log from the mix and then press it to the bottom of the mold. Then, using your finger, make indent lengthwise. Make sure that the sides stay taller since we are going to use them to seal the tops of the bars. Fill up the bars with a peanut butter mix and don't be ambitious like I was, I always overfill everything. So make sure to stay below the height of the side of the walls. Otherwise, your filling will leak out which is also not the worst thing. Now, set these aside, maybe in a fridge, until we make the tops. Remaining one third of the mix, we will place between two sheets of parchment paper. And then using the rolling pin, we will roll it out to a quarter inch thickness and then we're going to cut it into eight rectangles. And finally, we will take each rectangle and use it as a lid to our filled up bars. And use a spoon or your finger to press along the sides to seal the top to the bottom. Then transfer the bars to a freezer for 30 minutes. You can leave the bars as they are. They're super delicious. I always like to cover everything with, with a melted dark chocolate. It looks and tastes better, no doubt about that. And I always like to sprinkle some peanuts for extra crunch. And enjoy! So excited about this one. Mmm. Oh, this is good. Mmm. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out hazelnut truffle balls that are also protein packed and delicious dessert. And I will see you in the next video.